Look in the camera. Something's crawling on the camera. This is crazy. That demon is on him now. Look at all the orbs flying around in his room. God bless everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a crazy video. You got to watch it all the way through. It's about this very crazy topic called sleep paralysis. Many of you have experienced sleep paralysis. Me personally, I've experienced sleep paralysis a few times, unfortunately, and it was one of the scariest experiences I've ever had in my life where I actually seen a demon walk into my room and jump on top of me, start choking me, and I could not move. I could not scream. And the only thing I could say was, J -j 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 -e -zus. and as soon as I said that, that demon left, but I was so scared and I was able to get under the covers. But this was actually before I fully surrendered my life to Christ. I was getting attacked with sleep paralysis, sometimes known as incubus, succubus spirits. Uh, and usually these demons come in through an open door. You open the door through rebellion against God's word through sin, and specifically sexual sin. You watch pornography, you're sleeping outside of marriage, you're having lustful thoughts, and you're, you're, you're meditating on those thoughts. You open the door to these spirits to come and wreak havoc. Before I forget, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the post notification so you can get notified every time we drop a fire video. See, there's a lot of people who've been rocking with the videos, but you're not subscribing. You keep forgetting, subscribe share this video help this ministry and if you know that jesus reigns in this place go comment down below jesus reigns amen but before we watch this video i want to talk a little bit about sleep paralysis and what people think you know science what the world teaches you is that sleep paralysis it's this brain issue where your body your body is uh, you know unconscious you, and you're just you're, you're going between sleep and you're trying to wake up and and so your brain something happened they don't even know what happens they have so many explanations if you google it they don't know what to you know they don't know what to say about this but i know that it is a demon sleep paralysis has been a staple of folklore myth and legend for centuries cultures across the globe commonly considered sleep sleep paralysis to be the work of demons or incubi who sat on chests of un unsuspecting sleepers in egypt sleep paralysis is often thought to be caused by a jinn genie a supernatural creature that terrorizes and sometimes kills its victims in italy some interpret sleep paralysis as an assault by the, by the so-called pandafetche, a figure described as a malevolent witch or terrifying giant cat. What's crazy is check out these pictures of ancient times where these demons, these cat-like figures, they look like goblins, incubus, succubus spirits are on top of people. And these pictures are from way back in, in the days. So you know that this has been around for centuries. This is nothing new. In ancient times and all across the globe, people have believed that it's a demon that attacks people while they're sleeping and that sits on their chest. And what's crazy that in the Hispanic culture, I'm Mexican and in the Mexican culture, and I know in other Hispanic cultures, they call it se te sube el muerto, which means the dead person comes and sits on top of you. That's what they call it. That's what they believe it is. And so we're going to watch this video where this guy kept getting attacked with sleep paralysis. And so he finally got fed up. He's like, I'm going to set up a thermal camera to see what's going on because he kept getting tormented at night and it actually catches the very same thing that these pictures from ancient times shows what, it's, what a demon of sleep paralysis is. Let's go ahead and watch it. This guy set up a camera. Look in the camera. Something's crawling on the camera. This is crazy. That demon is on him now. Look at all the orbs flying around in his room. The demon on the camera. Look at that. Look at that. Sitting on his chest. This guy kept getting attacked. He was tired of being attacked. Look at these orbs flying around. So he set up a thermal camera to capture what is going on. Look at that globe. That, that, that orb that just fl floated. This demon just left. Look, the demon just came off of him. Look, he's waking up. He's freaking out. He's like, what is going on? This is crazy, guys. 
this demon caught on camera the same thing that we've been seeing in these pictures from egypt to south america to africa to mesopotamia look rome the roman empire they all believe that it was a demon that sleep paralysis was caused by a demon nowadays they tell you it you know the science uh you know the brain this and this and that that's a lie from the pit of hell why i why do i know that for sure number one because i have experienced it for myself, I've actually seen the demon where I couldn't move and I felt a fear that I've never felt before. And I'm telling you, I've actually watched a, a near-death experience of a man who went to hell and said that he, he described that the, the way you feel that fear, you know, during sleep paralysis, I believe he was talking about how you feel that fear. He said, multiply that by a million and that's how you feel in hell constantly. It's a constant fear. Listen, and if you've been going through sleep paralysis and you're, you're tired of being attacked by the enemy and you know that you, that Jesus has been calling you, you're ready to be set free, give your life today. I will pray with you right now. Get alone right now and say this. I renounce sexual immorality. I renounce pornography in Jesus' name. I renounce my sins. Say, Father, thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you that he has washed me, that he has cleansed me, that I'm forgiven of every sin. I believe that he was perfect. He was born of a virgin. He died on the cross and he rose on the third day. I put my trust in the atonement, the payment for my sins, which is the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, your word says that you would give to those the Holy Spirit to those who ask. I'm asking you to fill me, to empower me, to be a true witness for your name. Set me free right now. I pray right now, Holy Spirit, that you would come and take over this stream and that you would begin to fill them from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. Fill their temple, Lord, right now in Jesus' name. Empower them to be a true witness and not come against every demonic spirit that's been attacking their mind, their body, their soul. I come against you by the blood of Jesus Christ. I come against you by the authority of Jesus Christ. You come up and come out of them now in Jesus' name. Come up and come out of them as the Holy Spirit fills them right now in Jesus' name. Whew.